am a German trapped in a Ghanaian body and like can the German embassy sort me out? <laughs> That's what the record producer, the Ghanaian record producer said on social media and he went viral. Some people were, you know, laughing with him. Some people were mad because he said that it was just a whole controversy. So that's what we're talking about today. I am Gilza Alam. For those of you who are new, welcome. Let's talk about this. So his name is Zap Mallet and he's um, a record producer, a Ghanaian record producer. And he said this after that guy, the British guy came out and he said he identifies as a Korean and he got a bunch of surgery and now he's a Korean. And don't call him a British person because he'll be mad because he is a Korean. He believes it inside, so he must be a Korean, right? <laughs> That's the current um, belief system uh, that is going on in the West, I might add, and I'm just praying that none of that gets pushed towards us. And um, even if it gets pushed, I hope our leaders can step up and say, no, we have our own ways and we're not going to bow down to this ridiculous a belief system so anyways i'm not here to talk about that movement i am here to talk about um what, what do they call themselves transracial so that guy was saying the korean guy was like oh my god i even called him a korean no he's not he's a british man with a lot of plastic surgery hey guys i'm finally korean i've transitioned i'm so so happy i've completed my look i'm finally korean guys i have the eyes just had a brow lift as well. Yeah, I've been trapped in the wrong body for eight years. And that's the worst feeling in the world when you're trapped and you don't feel like you can be yourself. But finally, I'm Korean. I can be myself. And I'm so, so happy. Like Koreans were so offended after he went viral. It's not even funny. And I, I feel them like he's literally taking their face with plastic surgery and telling them I am Korean. It's just anyways, that's what he did. Right. So this guy was like, OK, if that man can do it and people can accept him, so can I. Like, why can't I try to do the same thing? And he said, I am a German trapped in a Ghanaian body. And I think he, he meant it jokingly just to stir up conversation and it worked many people were uh having fun with it but some people were offended they're like how dare you you make fun of this situation and then the other side told them how dare you say that you're not proud of being a Ghanaian and he's like first of all I didn't talk about a country I talked about my body like yeah some people just they want to see what they want to see and they want to hear for me what I see is a joke and basically sorry and basically, he's poking fun of what is going on right now, the current climate, right? And um, I am with him. It's funny. And as I said, if some people can feel something inside and be that, and we have to abide by that and call them that, then why can't this guy feel like he's a German and Germany should give him a passport and a citizenship? I agree with that. Well done to him. Good for him. And um, I hope that German accepts him because I'm sure they accept people that say that they identify as something inside. So I don't think this should be different. If it is, then they are discriminating against people, right? It makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know down below what your thoughts are about this record producer saying that he identifies as a German so he should be given a citizenship he was born in the wrong body so I think it's only fair to ask German embassy right I think it's fair it's only fair so let me know down below I thought it was hilarious um, as I told you some people thought it was mean-spirited what do you think fam let me know down below I'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye